Yo, how is it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is the Hybrid Nation SBC and the cheapest way to complete the SBCs inside of the Hybrid Nation SBC. As you guys know, this is one of the advanced SBCs and if you guys want a League of Nation hybrid and a hybrid League SBC, then make sure you leave a like on this video right now and subscribe to my channel if you're not subbed already. All the support goes a long way and it's greatly appreciated and any feedback to me that's positive means that I'm doing the right thing and I greatly appreciate all the feedback you guys are giving me. Super excited for FIFA 19. This is recorded on the FIFA 19 early access on the Xbox One. And I do want to say something right now that sometimes with videos like this, certain players do get price fixed. So there might be a few players, whether it be this guy that's price fixed who's currently going for 800 coins, whether it's Mandy who gets price fixed who again is currently going for 800 coins, whether it's Correa who gets price fixed. It's great to look for an alternative in that position that is a very similar card. So if you can't do it with these certain players, just use the same formula and find different players in the same position. So this is the first one. We do get ourselves a premium gold players pack for quads. This one in total probably costs anywhere from like 8 to 12k at the minute. Now it will go up, but not right now. It's currently really cheap. So do this as early as you can. We're going to go ahead and submit that one. We get a premium gold players pack for that, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a 25k players pack. Then we get the next one, the six. Uh, as we go into this one, uh, we have, these are the players that we have. For example, we have got Felipe Vizier. We have got Ospina. We've got Basta, Zapata, Marlos Santos, Gulam, Lazari, Linetti, Zelensky, Randanovic, Patanya, and obviously that Vizu guy. Um, again, another cheap one, but just look for alternatives. This one's actually one of the easier ones to do with any kind of league. Um, and I think all of these guys are basically, you go for the leagues as opposed to the nations. Now, uh, obviously with the hybrid, uh, hybrid leagues, it's the nations as opposed to the leagues. You guys will get it if you go and watch the hybrid nations or hybrid leagues one that I'm going to do. Uh, this is the next one. It is, it takes eight. Uh, now, I do have loyalty on these players, but I can't imagine you need loyalty. These are quite easy to do. Um, but we have the goalkeeper. We have Sabale, Jose Fonte, Zubatic, Bernat, Toussaint, Cyprian, uh, Lareja. We also have a Campos, Cornelius, and Niang. Go ahead and submit that, and we get ourselves a prime gold players pack. The advanced SBCs are always incredible, so I'm very happy about that. Then we have National Pride, the last one. We got ourselves a mega pack for doing this, and it's in Nationalities 10, Rare Play 7, Team Overall, Min Rating, uh, and this is the team. We went for a Prem team here. Uh, the only expensive card or semi-expensive will be Shakiri. Again, I don't think it'd be that much because he's not the highest rated card, but you can go with somebody else. You can go with, uh, I think you could probably just get a different rare and then go with this guy and you just need a different rare. For example, uh, sorry, I put him in the wrong position. Uh, if you went with this guy, you probably just need a different rare uh, or a different nationality somewhere. So it's not bad. Uh, and I think you can go ahead and submit that for cheap. So all in all, this SBC probably cost me about twenty to 30,000 coins right now. And we get an amazing reward back. We get ourselves a Hybrid Nations rare mega pack. We get a mega pack prime gold, uh, 15k and a 25k pack. So we have uh, a bunch of packs in the store, uh, but some of these are just contract packs. So we're going to skip past that. The first pack we have is a premium gold pack. Hopefully we can get something good. If we get a walkout, I'll be very satisfied. If we get like an inform or a decent board drop, I'll be very satisfied as well. We get a German left wing back and it's going to be Schulz. Not too bad, but not amazing. We'll take it, but it's not fantastic. Obviously, uh, it, we could get a whole lot better. Um, but we get Kuyate as well, who's a decent card. Might sell for a little bit too. We'll go ahead and store all those guys in the club. We'll go ahead and quick sell this Sorrentino card and the uh, and the goal uh, the goalkeeper in the kit. Sorry. Then we have the premium gold players pack, the 25k players pack. Come on, yeah. The first special pack I have opened this year. Is it going to be a board drop? That's the question. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a board drop, and it's not, unfortunately. It's going to be a left back from England. It's going to be Ashley Young. That might be a decent card to sell. It might go for a little bit, so I'll take that. Uh, and it's a Man United card, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, but we're yet to get a board drop out of these reward packs so far, and that is in fact the first uh, special card, or sorry, the first special pack of FIFA 19 that I've opened. But we're going to go ahead with the Mega Pack now instead of the Prime Gold Place. But we're going to go ahead with the Mega Pack. These are sometimes really good to me. So let's see if we can get a board drop from this. Uh, it's going to be no board again. Damn, that sucks. No board again. We've got John Stones. He might sell for a little bit. Not too bad. But no board again. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping we'd get a board out of that. Um, out of the Mega Pack. But we still have a couple of decent packs left. Uh, hopefully John Stone sells for a little bit. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and sell him and discard the rest of these guys. We have a Prime Gold Plays Pack and we have a Rare Mega Pack as well. So in the Prime Gold Plays Pack, can we get something good here? Please. It's going to be... Yes, it's over 86. Let's go. It's over an 86 rated player. It's going to be something good. Let's go. It's a walkout at least. Italian. Centre mid. 
Verratti, not bad. 86 weighted card. It's going to be a walkout, so that is fantastic. Let's go. I'm happy about that. And it's Verratti, not bad at all. That is decent. I'm satisfied with that. We got a walkout from this, so we've definitely made some kind of profit. And I'm happy about that. And I love that tell. I actually really like that tell. But yeah, I'm happy about that. That's great. That's fantastic, actually. That is fantastic. I'm, I, that, that, an 86 weighted card, I am buzzing about that. Can we get anything else in the same pack? That's the question. Anything else decent? Oh, we get David Luiz as well. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yo, I'll take that. David Luiz as well. We'll go ahead and discard the rest. Not a bad pack. Now, we're on to the last pack. It is a rare mega pack. This is a 55,000 coin pack. So let's see if we can, in fact, get ourselves something decent from this. It's not going to be a walkout. Can we get a board drop at least? No board drop by Seri. Not bad. Seri is decent. By would have been a little bit better. But we still got Seri, so it's not bad. However... Would have been way nicer to get a different player there. It really would have. It would have been nicer to get like a board drop or something. We get Felipe Anderson though. That's a solid card. That's a great pull. Bakayoko as well. Another great pull. Yo, these packs are decent. I'll happily take that. Go ahead and get ourselves a contract pack. Not amazing. We've got the Johan Cruyff Arena. Not bad at all. Um, I'll sell Seri and then we will discard the rest. So, you know, all in all, we've got a walkout. So that's decent. I can't ask for more than that. If you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.